everybody, Erwin Brody here with Getting Made X. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you know, every month we feature a member of the month for the platform. And today we have Pauline Williams from Normal, Illinois, also from Chicago, uh, for March 2022. Pauline, great to connect with you. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great. And how are you? It's so nice I'm, to meet you. I'm fantastic. Yeah, I'm sure you've seen these other videos in the past, right, with the other uh, oh, members yeah. of the month. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Well, first off, congrats for being member of the month. It's no easy task. So uh, congratulations. Uh, how does it feel, first off? Oh, I'm excited. And I'm excited to be here with you and to finally meet you. So let's dive into your background in writing. Uh, I'm a fellow writer. So it, just think of it as writer talking to writer. Um, for you, Pauline, what was your personal path to get, getting into screenwriting? Because we all have different ways or different um I guess, avenues into the industry or into writing in general. So for you, what was your path into writing? Well, I, I come from a tradition of storytellers. My parents used to tell, um, uh, tell us stories when we were children. And uh, later my sister told stories and then I started. And I can remember in middle school, I started writing short stories and plays that um, my teacher quote unquote published and put in our school library because um, the other children in the class read those plays. They were very interested. They weren't interested in what we had uh, in the school and our curriculum really uh, did not include uh, culturally relevant pieces by any um, African-American authors and so <laughs> Uh, that was the way the teacher got the students to read. And so that was my very beginning. And um, I've just always loved writing, but I've, uh, I've been an educator for the past 37 years. Mm. But prior to becoming an educator, I, um, I produced some shows through public access. Yes. So I was, I was trained in all areas of television production. And I, I enjoy producing as much as I enjoy writing. Okay. Yes. And so, yeah. and I produce several um, television programs, including um, a situation comedy, a couple of talk shows, documentary, and children's programs, uh, which later, when I became an educator, uh, many of my students had uh, various roles in those shows on screen and off screen. Awesome. I, I'm glad you mentioned your producing side because I would love to know how your experience in producing has helped you navigate the waters of writing. Because sometimes a lot of writers, uh, we, we tend to forget when we write a screenplay, like the production side of things, like, oh, it will cost this much, you know, um, this will, it, it, you know, we need this prop or that prop or this car or this explosion, right? So for you, having experience in, in, in producing, how has it helped you as a writer with the, with the education of like costs and stuff like that? Well, mainly for production viability, that's what I'm thinking about as I'm writing and I'm thinking, well, is this something that can be produced? What will be the cost and all of that? So I would say um, the, main, uh, the main thing is the production viability. And that's something that is talked a lot about with Get Me X. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm learning so much from them about production viability. And I was going to ask this later on, but it's already already mm -hmm. there. Like, I would love to know um, what has been the biggest takeaway from being part of the platform? The community. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very, very supportive community of writers. And of course, Matt and Sylvie, who um, uh, oversee, they are the owners of the company and uh, they've just formed a family type of uh, environment for the writers. And I think I've taken, uh, that is my biggest takeaway, but there are so many other aspects that I truly enjoy, um, such as, as the, um, the classes that they have, the getting together and reading each other's uh, scripts, the peer yeah. reviews, um, I am in a workshop right now, a coaching workshop, and it included um, various things such as the synopsis 
writing the log line synopsis, doing a, an elevator pitch and, and actually uh, looking at each other's proofs of concept. That was very helpful. Yeah, absolutely. Because you can always be a great writer, but then it's like, okay, what, what comes next? Um, you know, the business side of things or like the getting responses from people who are like from different set of eyeballs is always beneficial. Oh, yes. Yeah. What genres do you write? Do you mix genres? Do you have specific ones that you prefer over another one? Well, um, I think that I prefer comedy in a way. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm working on, um, I'm working right now on a feature film. It is a drama, but it includes comedy. So I'm, I'm calling it a dramedy. Dramedy. Yeah. I love that. I like, I like that because, um, you know, that's kind of like life, right? It's never just comedy. It's never just drama. It's a mixture of both elements in our everyday lives. So yes. glad, I'm glad you write that. Very, very cool. What was that first screenplay that you read? that made you go, you know what, I want to do this. I, I can do this and I want to do this. What was that screenplay that you read as an education to yourself to become a writer? Oh, it's been a while. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was a screenplay okay. uh, as much as it was being on the set of films, of, uh, of feature films that were filmed in Chicago. Uh, back in the 80s when I was young, um, I was on the uh, sets of, well, three that I can recall. Next of Kin, Running Scared, and Backdraft. And I would just sit there in, in amazement watching the crew and watching the director. And I thought, this is something that I want to do. Yeah. And uh, it also helped me because at that time I was doing the public access uh, shows. And so I took what I learned on those sets back with me to public access. Mm. It's very, very helpful. So you mentioned look, some projects that were in Chicago. Um, mm -hmm. Chicago is big in film nowadays, and especially t TV. With Dick Wolf has a lot of Dick Wolf has like a whole Wednesday dedicated to, to Chicago shows. Do you have any plans to go to to come to LA, or is it you're you comfortable in Chicago and and normal? No, I would love to go to LA as well. I've uh, been to Atlanta to look at the film industry there. Mm -hmm. And I have plans on going to uh, LA this year. Well, we're 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 excited to have you. Well, <laughs> I'll, hopefully we can connect when you get here. Um, what are you? I, I like to ask this question sometimes to people because I like to get a sense of like their material. So, what are you watching right now? Whether it's a TV show series or maybe it's a film that you watched recently that you really liked that is kind of in your wheelhouse. What are, what are you watching nowadays that is similar to your style of writing? Well, I'm not even sure if it's similar to my style of writing, but I have really gotten into uh, the show Bel Air. Okay, and, yeah. Um, I find it so interesting that they went from a comedy to a drama. Yeah, so, yeah. Two genres that I enjoy, and, and I'm seeing how they're doing that. And I would love to, to write for Bel Air because mm -hmm. I believe I could, um, because I have the the comedy background as well as the drama background yeah very good and maybe one day you can produce a show like that yes that would yeah. be great. <laughs> there you go there you go pauline before we go do you have any social media pages you want to share or official uh, writing site you want to share um, well i have a facebook page mm -hmm. and um uh, do you want me to type in the information oh you, you can just uh we can share it later too in the links below for oh, the, for I the page. See. yeah mm -hmm. yeah 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 very very good awesome thanks so much for sharing that and before and we go i have one oh. more thing though yeah go ahead i also have um a page for maddie max productions llc and that is a company that i will be launching uh this june and amazing so, and it's maddiemax.com you've been gearing towards that for a while huh well, I've been preparing for the past year. Uh, mm -hmm. it, I became, an, uh, well, I created it last year uh, to have the, prote the protection of an LLC and mm -hmm. uh, just to do my independent filmmaking. And I, I produced a short film um, over the past year and I produced that under the title of Maddie Max Productions, LLC.
Very good. Yeah, I'm getting to production as well. So we're on this, I think we're on the same wavelength here, Pauline. We're branching out some more. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Uh, I look forward to connecting with you more, Pauline. And, and you know, we'll cross paths when you get to L.A. Oh, for sure. I'm <laughs> looking for you. <laughs> thank you so much, well, Pauline. Thank Everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll see you next time with our next member of the month for Get A Made X. Thank you.